While the main form of interfacing with AutoCAD is through the ribbon and the command line, there are other methods of executing commands in AutoCAD. They are the menu bar and toolbars. Out of the box, these two forms of input are turned off now. Way back before AutoCAD 2009 came out, they were the main forms of interfacing with AutoCAD, but they were replaced by the ribbon. The ribbon keeps everything in one central place, where toolbars can be spread out all over your screen, with some of them on and some of them turned off. If you've used AutoCAD in the past, then you are very familiar with toolbars. They work just fine, and if you prefer to use them, then go ahead. There's no real right or wrong way to use AutoCAD. Use the way that you are familiar with and the way that works best for your working style. If you haven't ever used them before, then I suggest that you stay with the ribbon. But I wanted to point them out to you so that you would be aware of them in case you came across some user's interface that has been set to take advantage of them. The menu bar is very similar to the ribbon. Instead of tabs, there are menus like the file, draw, modify, etc. All of your commands can be found in the appropriate menu, just like in the ribbon. If you are new to the ribbon but familiar with the menu bar, you can turn it on. and Nobody will get too upset with you. But again, if you are brand new to AutoCAD, I say stay away from them and stick with the ribbon and the application menus instead. If you want to get to the toolbars in the menu bar, AutoCAD has a workspace called AutoCAD Classic. Turn it on by switching workspaces. Well, your workspace is your user interface screen in AutoCAD. It can be arranged in many different ways for any reason you want to. AutoCAD has four main workspaces right out of the box. You can change them up here in your quick access toolbar. Click on the arrow and select the one you want. For the majority of this training video, we will be using the drafting and annotation workspace. But there is also the 3D basics and the 3D modeling. The fourth kind is AutoCAD Classic. Now AutoCAD LT, if that's what you're working in right now, you'll notice you don't have the 3D modeling and basics workspaces. That's because AutoCAD LT does not have 3D functionality in it. So therefore you don't need those commands. But otherwise it works the same way. To turn on the classic workspace, just click it. This will get rid of the ribbon, turn on many of your toolbars, some of your tool palettes, and the menu bar. It looks very different, doesn't it? Yes, it does. We'll talk about tool palettes later on. They're fantastic and are very useful and very easy to customize as well. I'll click here to close them. But as you can see, the menu bar resembles the ribbon. Well, since the menu bar was there first, I think it's more appropriate to say that the ribbon resembles the menu bar. But here's your file. Here you have a lot of the commands. It has icons in it, so it's a little visual, but it's mostly text-based. You have your recent files down here on the list of what you've been working on, your utilities, plotting, opening, saving, etc. If you want to edit, you click on the edits. If you want to draw, like in the draw panel, you come here and here are your commands, line, circle, arc, etc. Just click the command you want, and everything else functions the exact same way as before. There are also toolbars. These are your toolbars. You can click them, drag them, put them to wherever you want. You can close them by clicking on the X. If you right click anywhere on the toolbars, you can get to different toolbar groups. These are all the toolbars that you can turn on. The ones with the check marks on them are the ones that are on right now. Just find the one you want and it will come on. Here it is. You can turn it off again. Now, if you've turned off a toolbar and you don't know which one it was you turned off, you'll just have to go back until you find one listed that's not on and turn it on. The toolbars will appear into the last place you had them. If we move it over here, but then turn it off and on again, this is where it will appear. Find the one that you turned off and turn it back on. Pretty simple.
So as you can see, the toolbars are all over the screen. Here's the line command. I just pick it and go for it. Again, use what you want. The toolbars and the menu bar were the standard of drawing in AutoCAD for many years until the ribbon came by. Moving from this interface to the ribbon interface was difficult for many users. However, I have found that the ribbon is much more intuitive because it does not spread the commands throughout your screen. The ribbon keeps everything in a centralized place, keeps them in one place. I know where to go when I need the command, but you can work however you want. You can use the ribbon and turn on the toolbars all at the same time and just add them to it. That's up to you. If you don't like this, you can always go back to the drafting and annotation workspace. And there it is. Now you can turn the menu bar on without turning on any of the toolbars. Just type on the command line, menu bar, and press enter. It has two settings, zero and one. Zero is off, one is on. And now I have the menu bar. It's going to take up a little bit more screen but it's here. Here are my options for the file, to draw, to dimension, etc. So if you're moving from the old style to the new style of interface for AutoCAD and you're watching this video, you may want to turn on your menu bar and use it. I'm going to leave it turned off for the remainder of this training video because I think the ribbon is a better situation. However, <laughs> what's right and what's wrong is relative, again. So use the form of input and interface that suits your needs best.